Hi, thank you for watching this video. We're going to get into the uh, the Bible reading for this video, our Bible study in the uh, book of Matthew. Uh, before I get into the uh, into the reading here uh, in the study, I want to just say that uh, um, as you obviously already know, I've been doing some of those little uh, short videos. I hope you've enjoyed those, by the way. I thought, you know, this would be a cool thing to use to try and go through a verse and then elaborate on it for a short bit and just you know I thought it'd be pretty cool to do one of those only like a minute long and so it's also helping you know getting more more views on on my channel and more subscribers also you know not and of course that's not obviously what it's all about what it matters is is that you know we advance the kingdom of God and spreading the gospel of Jesus Christ all around the world and so you know, at least it's helping get getting the channel some recognition. And, uh, but yeah, I, you know, a lot of people have more time to view those shorts, you know, obviously, because it's not as long as these videos here, where I just go through and, you know, and do a study on, on d these different chapters here. But, uh, yeah, it's it's good for people. So it's, it's good enough to make because, you know, the, the word's always good. And... I find it a blessing myself to, to do those shorts, you know, so those little, little short videos, hopefully you will, you've all been enjoying them, and I, I continue, I'm going to continue to do more of those uh, for the foreseeable future, Lord willing, and um, I know that over the weeks and, and over the, as weeks and months go by, there may be a, a chance that I might do a repeat, you know, that I might end up doing a a scripture that I already did previously so if that happens you know then then it happens you know so you know but it's 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 a blessing to me and and I hope that they're a blessing to you too as well anyways uh, we are in the book of Matthew chapter 9 uh, in this video the gospel according to Matthew chapter 9 starting at verse 1 and he entered into a ship, and passed over, and came into his own city. And behold, they brought to him a man sick of the palsy, lying on a bed. And Jesus, seeing their faith, said unto the sick of the palsy, Son, be of good cheer, thy sins be forgiven thee. Now here it talks about their faith. This refers to the faith of the paralytic as well as that of the men who were carrying him. Uh, verse 3, And behold, certain of the scribes said within themselves, This man blasphemeth. And Jesus, knowing their thoughts, said, Wherefore think ye evil in your hearts? For whether it is easier to say, Thy sins be forgiven thee, or to say, Arise and walk. But that ye may know that the Son of Man hath power on earth to forgive sins. Then saith he to the sick of the palsy, Arise, take up thy bed, and go unto thine house. And he arose and departed to his house. But when the multitude saw it, they marveled and glorified God, which had given such power unto men. And as Jesus passed forth from thence, he saw a man named Matthew sitting at the receipt of custom. And he saith unto him, Follow me. And he arose and followed him. And it came to pass, as Jesus sat at meat in the house, behold, many publicans and sinners came and sat down with him and his disciples. Now here where it talks about the uh, publicans. Publicans were tax collectors who were often despised not only because they were seen as traitors working for the hated Roman government, but also because they generally collected more than necessary and pocketed the difference. And so even despite this, this situation here, the Lord still called him to, to follow him and he and it ended up obviously changing his life forever, just as 
as it did with the other disciples that he called to follow him. Uh, verse 11. And when the Pharisees saw it, they said unto his disciples, Why eateth your master with publicans and sinners? But when Jesus heard that, he said unto them, They that be whole need not a physician, but they that are sick. But go ye, but go ye and learn what that meaneth. I will have mercy and not sacrifice. For I am not come to call the righteous, but sinners to repentance. Now here it talks about they that be whole need not. Jesus refers ironically to the Pharisees as the righteous. They were not righteous. That was only how they perceived themselves because of their pious and scrupulous law keeping. And a reference to that can be found in Philippians chapter 3 verse 6. But God is more interested in a person's loyal love than the observance of external rituals. And that is very true. You know, he had to contend with these Pharisees for pretty much all of his ministry. And, you know, he God is interested in in the heart. He's not interested in the outward appearance. He's interested on, on the inside, what goes on in the heart. You know, that that's where that's where real man that's what a real man or woman is. That's well, who they really are is what's in their heart. You know, it, it's it may you know it may it may wow some people. You know that they're doing stuff and and you know all these outside actions and whatnot that they they do. But only the Lord sees what what's really in the heart, what their true intentions are of doing those things, and. You know, if the heart's not right, the outward actions aren't going to be are, are going to be right at all. You know, they're just putting on a front at at that point. And it's important that our actions and our heart are aligned and they match, and, and they're together. You know, because if the, if it's a heart of God, uh, good actions w will follow. Uh, verse fourteen. Then came to him the disciples of John, saying, Why do we and the Pharisees fast oft? Let me read that verse again. Then came to him the disciples of John, saying, Why do we and the Pharisees fast oft, but thy disciples fast not? And Jesus said unto them, Can the children of the, of the bride chamber mourn, as long as the bridegroom is with them? But the days will come when the bridegroom shall be taken from them, and then shall they fast. No man putteth a piece of new cloth into an old garment. For that which is put in to fill it up taketh from the garment, and the rent is made worse. Neither do men put new wine into old bottles, else the bottles break, and the wine runneth out and the bottles perish but they put new wine into new bottles and both are preserved while he spake these things unto them behold there came a certain ruler and worshipped him saying my daughter is even now dead but come and lay thy hand upon her and she shall live and Jesus arose and followed him and so did his disciples and behold, a woman which was diseased with an issue of blood twelve years came behind him and touched the hem of his garment. For she said within herself, If I may but touch his garment, I shall be whole. But Jesus turned him about, and when he saw her, he said, Daughter, be of good comfort, thy faith hath made thee whole. And the woman was made whole from that hour. And when Jesus came into the ruler's house and saw the minstrels and the people making a noise, he said unto them, Give place for the maid, give place, for the maid is not dead, but sleepeth. And they laughed him to scorn. But when the people were put forth, he went in and took her by the hand, and the maid arose. 
and the fame hereof went abroad into all that land. And when Jesus departed thence, two blind men followed him, crying and saying, Thou son of David, have mercy on us. And when he was come into the house, the blind men came to him, and Jesus saith unto them, Believe ye that I am able to do this? They said unto him, Yea, Lord. Then touched he their eyes, saying, According to your faith be it unto you. And their eyes were opened, and Jesus straightly charged them, saying, See that no man know it. Now here where it talks about, see that no man know it, um, Jesus may have wanted to discourage the masses from coming to him for physical healing alone, because his primary purpose was spiritual healing. And so while he was there to, to bring physical healing to those who needed it, um, he was more concerned about their spiritual wants and their spiritual needs. And, and so he was more focused on the spiritual healing of people. Um, verse 31. But they, when they were departed, spread abroad his fame in all that country. And they went out, behold, as they went out, behold, they brought to him a dumb man possessed with a devil. And when the devil was cast out, the dumb spake, and the multitudes marveled, saying, It was never so seen in Israel. But the Pharisees said, He casteth out devils through the prince of the devils. And Jesus went about all the cities and villages, teaching in their synagogues, and preaching the gospel of the kingdom, and healing every sickness and every disease among the people. But when he saw the multitudes, he was moved with compassion on them, because they fainted and were scattered abroad as sheep having no shepherd. Then saith he unto his disciples, The harvest truly is plenteous, but the laborers are few. Now here in this verse where it talks about harvest, the harvest will mark the beginning of the kingdom age. For the lost, it will mean doom. But for the saved, it will mean blessing. And so, one day, we don't know, we don't know when that will be. We just know it's some, some time in the future at some point. But one day, there will be a day where the harvest will be gathered. And those that are lost, it, it will mean doom for them. And for those who are saved, it will mean blessing. You know, for, for those that are saved, they will be, be with Jesus Christ and have eternal life in heaven with Him forever. And it's going to be a glorious day for, for all those that have placed their faith and trust in Jesus Christ. Uh, verse 38. Pray ye therefore the Lord of the harvest pray ye therefore the lord of the harvest that he will send forth laborers into his harvest and we we sure do need them very much in, in this day and age for sure because it's it's very important that that we share this gospel with people and and that people would hear and listen and and become saved and, and trust in Christ as Savior. That's what matters most. Uh, anyways, that's going to do it for this video. Hopefully you guys and uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, take care and God bless you.